Greetings, everyone. Um, as you all know, the nominations for Best Anime Feature rolled off the line today, uh, like literally at like around 8 o'clock this morning, local time. Um, of course, it was like 6 a.m. over there in the Pacific region, but that's not here what I'm talking about. But pretty much, with, I'm, I don't know if I'm anyone to experience this, but are we experiencing some deja vu? As many people know, in 2014, the Wago movie was robbed of its nomination. Those years' nominations were Big Hill 6, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Song of the Sea, The Tales of Princess Kigua, and The Box Trolls. Of course, we all know who won that. But now, it's 2022. Stuff has changed. Nowadays, we're going to see what are we seeing. It's more or less um, the progressive bulk nonsense, Tom Foley, getting nominated over more base content. As such, we were expecting something well around those lines of what's going to happen. Will Disney take home all three of its nominations? Now, Disney had three nominated films this year. Three contenders this year. The God of the White Year. The Not So 2000's Turning Red, even though it's supposed to take place in 2002, but doesn't well, or it does really, but who cares. And The God of the Strange World, which cost Disney some money. Both White Year and Strange World bombed. Meanwhile, Turning Red gets the nomination because it went to Disney Plus, and so they could just get away with it. But now, what about the other contenders? Well, um, Del Toro's Pinocchio got the nod. So did a movie called The Sea Beast, which I never heard of. But, missing from all that, Puts in Boots did get a nod, so congrats to them. Let's just see. There was one other movie this year that most people saw. Wasn't woke. Deja Vu, ladies and gentlemen. Deja Vu. That's right. The Bad Guys has been robbed of its nomination. And if you're wondering why the screen is going all so blurry, it is actually a visualization I just put up for this video to explain what's going on. So as of all things, this has not gotten a nod for Best Enemy Feature. It didn't get a nod for the it got some nods for any awards, but pretty much for the Oscars, did we squat? So you're willing to tell me something from this, a company that has been so progressively going off the rails, a lot of people have stopped watching their content anymore and have gone to Universal for content, instead of and this getting a nod, this does not get the nod. Seriously, this movie is hilarious, but somehow no nod at all. Remember, it came out in early 22, so its early contenders were, at the most part, sure enough, it was going to get it. But eventually, nope, it did not. Now, um, I was really surprised to see, of all things, um, going off topic for a bit of Top Gun Maverick getting a nod for Best Picture. But, simply, for the last two years, I specifically have only watched the Oscars for one thing, and that was the Best Anime Feature Award, plus the Annie's, as I am a animation nerd plus a technology nerd. This year, not at all. Officially, goodbye to the Wolkskers, as I've been calling it for the last three seasons of this Tom Foley. Seriously, no one watches your fan anymore. Seriously, did you stage that Will Smith slap for laughs? Seriously? And this is why people don't watch your content anymore. Now, Disney had all three of its nominations get in, but not a DreamWorks. It would be a better controversy. We had this in both in 2010 and 2008 when DreamWorks went it up in the Annie's of all things because they were able to loophole. This time around, it doesn't mean daily squat anymore. 
The Oscars don't mean stuff anymore. Not even the Quidditch Choice Awards. Well, it's just after um, 7.30 at night. Wanted to make this video specifically talking to people what the heck happened. And so, I'm just going to let this visualization play out. And enjoy the night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night.